All right, we're on our way to get our first set of pigs. What do you think, Riley? I'm excited. What do you think, Paisley? Happy. We're gonna get them. Let's see what it, see what happens. All right, so we just got our Kune Kune pigs home. Our boy, we named him Wilbur. He's doing really good. Oh, he looks like he's about to test the fence. I don't know though. He should be trained to premier one. Kune Kunes, he's a fat little pig. He's only about a year old. He's 100 pounds. And I think he's gonna, he might test this fence out. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what he does. Checking out the blackberries. We got these from a lady about 30 miles from us. She raises registered Kune Kunes. And these are unregistered. We're just getting them for a breeding pair. Um, and we're gonna have a bunch of little bacon seeds here in the next couple months. So I just wanna show you what the Kune Kune is doing. It's grazing and browsing. They do eat some supplemental feed, uh, but not too much. Our goats don't know what to make of it yet. They're, they're still kind of unsure. And they'll just take a couple days and get acclimated. We are gonna raise these together. We rotate our goats, you've seen our videos. So we're doing pigs, goats, and one little dog named Roma. We're doing them all together. I'm really excited to see what the future has in store for us. And this is our first adventure with pigs. We're gonna update you more with it. And I just wanna talk about what we've done so far. So, as you can see, this is what we transported on. We just had a dog kennel and a smaller dog kennel. That's where we brought our two pigs in on. He's a little bit more active. And to get him acclimated, what we did was we pulled in. Good boy. We backed in the trailer, shut the net around it. This is Premier One Net. Um, it's really good stuff if you've never heard of it. And I'm sure you have if you're watching this. But since Roma's new... We let her get acclimated. We left them in the cage for a little bit. And you can see Honey up there is still in there. And we just let them chill out for about 10 minutes. And they're so calm. Their demeanor has been so calm. We just left them. Um, you can see she's just napping. We've got the door open. She can step out and be in here whenever she's ready. So this is kind of what we're doing to acclimate the pigs. Uh, we also have our other animals. You see Roma, our goats back here, and they've all been around pigs a little bit, except for little Roma. She don't know what to make of them yet, but she's only 14 weeks, so not really a big safety concern right now. We're just keeping an eye on them and making sure that they're okay. Uh, the goats are the ones who are kind of skittish, and let's see. First interactions. Roma backed away. That's good. We don't want her showing any aggression with her being a working dog she's meant to protect and this is her herd her herd of goats and pigs so she's learning a lot she's getting acclimated we're gonna make a video on her i'll link it right here in the top if you'd like to see that and man god has just blessed us so much with these animals every animal i feel like we've gotten now we just got the pigs but every animal we've gotten has honestly been a blessing because when we first started out with this we bought some goats and let's just, it didn't work. It did not work, and we were too soon. And God let us know immediately. So thankfully, he's allowed us some great animals. We've prayed about every animal we've ever bought, and, well, except for those first two. Um, and it shows. God has put these animals in our life. They're part of the family now. They're helping us grow our homestead. And honestly, I can say I love them, and I truly care for them, and I want the best life that we can for them. Our pigs... We're treating them pretty good. We want them to be kind of a pet. Um, and the reason why is we're gonna breed these. Uh, the seeds are gonna be what we eat. We're gonna call them bacon, ham, and pork chop. We're not gonna name them other than food. And uh, we just, you know, we don't wanna get a real close connection with something that we're gonna process. And I'll probably be doing at least one here on the farm. It's gonna be a big endeavor that I'm gonna try out and we'll see how it goes. But our little buddies here, Weber and Honey, they're gonna be our farrowing pigs. So we're just gonna keep them and build this bond with them and really make them part of the family. And we've got some more land that we're gonna start clearing and these pigs are gonna do a great job. Kunes don't do as much digging and uh, you know rooting around 
as a Berkshire or Duroc or Spot, but they will. They're a pig. It's in their nature. They'll get that nose down in there, and they will go to town because they like roots. They like uh, any tubers, anything that they can get, grubs. That's what they feed off of, along with grass. So when we mix in these goats and pigs together, it's going to be a land clearing machine. And I'll show you this. I'm sure you've picked up. This land that we have is kind of scraggly in spots. I can, you can see this. This is either golden seal or ragweed, probably ragweed knowing our luck. Uh, blackberry. Luna up here chowing down on the blackberry, or she was. Uh, we've, we're full of it, and this is some pokeberry that grew to maturity. <laughs> you know, got real dry and weedy. So we've got a lot of non-traditional plant foods, you know, that honestly cows wouldn't eat a lot of this. So these goats and pigs are going to do a great job of this first, clearing all this brushy, woody stuff, and they uh, graze on the grass too. So that's an added benefit. But we're going to get this ready, and eventually we'll have some sheep in here as pure grazers, and we'll get the goats, because we don't want them just eating on grass. They're, they, they'll they do that, they'll live, but they don't thrive on it. They're not happy. And as stewards of these animals, we got to do what we can to make sure they're happy and do the best we can. That's why we rotate them. That's why we do all this extra work that's, in some people's eyes, unnecessary. And, you know, everybody's got their own way that they do it, and I just really like rotating them. So if you want to check out a video on how we rotate our milk goats, you can check that out right up here. Um, it's a really great system. It's worked well for us, and I can say we've been blessed with it. So far, we're just letting them get acclimated at their own pace, and we're going to go from there. So thank you, and I'll see you around.